Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today is November the 12th, 2021. We're going to talk about Solana today. We want to see if there's going to be a huge dump coming for this particular market. Now, when I say huge dump, just relax. I'm not saying that the market's going to plummet or collapse or go down 500%. No, I'm not saying that. But can we see Solana go down slightly? Well, we're going to talk about that today. Welcome to HFN, also known as Huf News. This is the spot that you're going to get the realest price prediction in the market without the confusion. You guys will see that we will give you a price prediction without talking about technical analysis, without technical indicators, even without looking at articles and, and trying to figure out, okay, what's the newest protocol that to be released? What's the newest partnership that Solana is going to do in the market to try to persuade you that price is going to go up? We don't do that. We simply look at what people are doing with their money and predict where price is going to go next. So if you guys find that, interesting join us keep it locked in here hit the like button share the video and also subscribe to the channel tap the bell notification as well so you guys do not miss out on any of our videos content that we produce here on this platform so real quick last time we did our video in salon was actually on october the 28th and you guys can tell that we did not do a price prediction into the market in solana we wanted to see whether or not the market had enough juice to first of all break this restriction area right here around 217 dollars which it did. The market in Solana did accomplish that right here on this day, November the 2nd. What do you know? So that's a very good thing for us to at least expect the price to go up, right? Yeah, it was. And then look at this day right here, November the 3rd. What do you know? Check that out. The market came. Let me zoom in so you all can see it. The market in Solana came and bounced off that support area. Well, what do you know? And then check this out again. The market in Solana confirmed this area of support on November the 10th. See, chart doesn't lie. I don't care what anyone else tells you. Price does not lie because it tells us what the majority of the people are doing in Solana. So when the market comes down to $217, that is where the buyers are at because the market is holding support there. So every time price in Solana comes down to $217, we can presume that that is where the buyers are going to be and they're going to get, try to maintain the price elevation in Solana right there. We got that. We appreciate that information because it kind of lets us know what to expect because if we see price break to $17, well, guess what? We can't expect the market to go down then because right now they are confirming that they are there in that location buying up the Solana. Use this information to your benefit without the confusion. So let me go ahead and get rid of this. So now we know that the buyers are coming in around $217, $220 in Solana. This is a two-day time frame, right? So now I'm still seeing a weakness. Even though we know that buyers are coming into the market in Solana right here around $217, this current two-day price bar is still signifying that selling is going on. So the last three two-day price bars, selling has been going on. But the buyers are at $217, okay? Now that's the two day on the three day time frame we are still seeing that selling is going on into the market in Solana so I really want to reiterate how important 220 217 dollar is for Solana and the ability to see it go up we break 217 dollars the next area for us to test into the market in Solana is going to be 200 and then ultimately down here on this trend on this ascending line is where the market in Solana is going to try to come in and test so let me go ahead and extend out these two lines because these two lines are going to be very important going into December towards the ending of this year for Solana. It will be. So let's go ahead and extend it out then. Okay. So as we still see this weakness in selling going on to the market Solana, we already know where our focus is going to be. First area, 217, 220. Second area is around $190 to $200, okay? So let's see the chart on the five-day, right? So the five-day time frame here into the market in Solana right here, we should have seen the market on this completed last completed five-day price bar go up, but we didn't see that. So it kind of lets us know that the demand, the interest, the strength is waning into the market in Solana as we approach that $260 price. The market could not sustain that upward move because if the market truly was strong on this five day price bar on November the 2nd, then this five day price bar on November the 7th that started 
we would have seen the price continually go up, but we didn't see that. So again, it lets us know that the overall market in Solana, while it trades above 260, while it trades above $200, is, is garnering more selling than we are seeing and buying. It is. All right. So let's just see what we have if we're expecting the market in Solana to go down, because I am. I really don't see no opportunity right now for Solana to go up, which is why we can actually see the market in Solana give us a small movement to the downside, right? So this might actually be the trend here into Solana as well. So we can see the market really come in and hold that 217 to $220 area. So I really want to reiterate that that literally we can see the market in Solana come in and grab support there. So we need to be prepared to take the profit in Solana right there around 217 to 220. I'm not crazy. I can see that that buyers are there. So before the market reverses course of going up, we need to go ahead and make sure we grab that profit though. So be prepared to take that four and a half percent out the market in Solana right there around 220 to 217 dollars. We're almost there now, literally. So once you watch this video, this play might even be outdated. So that's our first area to come in and grab the TP out the market in Solana. Now, the second area will be down here towards 197, 200 dollars. Okay. That would be the second area. So we got 217, 221 for us to come in and nibble and take the bag out the market. Second area will be around like 197 to $200 for us to grab more profitability out the market in Solana. Now, if we're if we're not able to see the price in Solana hold 217, 220, then pretty much we can see the market come in and test that ascending line. That's my next location to ultimately see the price in Solana come in and grab the bag, which is right here around $185, okay? Now, I'm not saying that the price is gonna come all the way down there right now, but I wanna preface that we're not able to hold 217, 220, then be prepared for us to at least come down to 200, 197, then 185 will be the next spot, the last location for us to try to eat off this particular play in Solana, okay? So, I mean, rightfully so. I understand that you all may be long term holders in Solana, which is cool. But currently we've been on a very pretty good run in Solana recently. Right. Price all the way since August has been in a very good sustained upward trend. And even within that trend, we have seen times to where the market did go down. This is one of those times, which is why I wanted to preface where I'm looking at the price to go. Now, you might see something totally different, which is cool. Right. I got the comment section open right now for you to drop your price prediction into the market in Solana and let me know where do you all think the market is headed over the next three weeks. OK, so drop me your price prediction right now in Solana and tell everyone within our community. Where are you noticing price and where are you expecting it to go? OK, that's it. Let me know. Make sure you maintain a profitability and as always trade different.